Hey everyone, this is Derek Bros of the Conscious Resistance Network, and today we are going to talk about France. If you haven't noticed, there is some crazy shit going down in France. And it's the result of many things, which we are not going to get into today. I will admit this is going to be a brief, shallow look at the situation in France, but it will be my perspective from what I know at the moment. Um, I'm work I know that uh, Luke Rakowski with We Are Change is headed to France right now, so maybe we can talk to Luke. Uh, once he gets through this weekend, but I want to take a moment to look at what's going on there and how it relates to maybe some things in the United States and the global front. First, I want to remind you guys to bookmark the consciousresistance.com right here. Scroll down here to our email, sign up to get the emails into your inbox every week. Now let's look at a couple articles. One thing I want to recommend, just like any topic, when it comes to France, you should look everywhere. Look everywhere. You look everywhere you go and don't just take one source of what's going on in France. Because, of course, it just seems like just to the last week or so, most of the American media wasn't even acknowledging anything going on in France or even reporting on it. And obviously, just like any major movement that is gaining ground and had at some points, you know, close to 300,000 people demonstrating, you know, on, in, back in November. And, you know, of course, things have slowed down and gotten smaller, but... In any big movement like that, there's going to be a variety of opinions and ideas and people trying to push the movement in different directions. You're going to have people from left, right, center, anarchist, apolitical people, people that are just out there just to cause chaos and everything in between, and probably some infiltrators, police, and things like that, right? So it's important to recognize that. But some of the claims, some of the reasons that people have been protesting and sporting yellow vests, it's called the yellow vest movement, um, says that it started back in November 17th when French drivers sporting yellow vests led a demonstration of 280,000 people across the country to push back against rising taxes on ga excuse me, gas and diesel fuel. So gas tax, right? Uh, French President Emmanuel Macron announced the new gas tax earlier this year as part of a broader plan to minimize France's reliance on fossil fuels to fight um, for the Paris Agreement and to fight against climate change. This is part of their, their efforts to do so. And it says the tax would increase the price of fuel by 30 cents and will continue to rise over the next few years. And gas is already about $7.06 per gallon in France. And the protest movement, known as Gillette Jaune, I'm sure I'm saying that wrong, known as for French yellow vests, excuse me, demonstrators that the demonstrators wear, they've blocked streets, highways. I'm sure you guys have seen some of these videos, burned cars, brawled with police in response to the price hike. Um, it's going on and on just describing the situation, but basically things have gone increasingly, increasingly, you know, hectic out there. I don't know if you guys have seen the videos or any of this stuff out there, but there have been some pretty crazy things going on. Um, I don't really watch the rebel media, but they, they actually sent somebody out there, uh, that recently that was just interviewing people on the ground. And like I said, look at everybody. So I'm reading this Vox article here. I've got one here from zero hedge. Um, I've been reading anarchist blogs, you know, more like left-wing anarchist blogs and, you know, messages from French anarchists and things like that. So it's definitely a varied movement. And you can see some of the things here. They go there and interview people and uh, people are just expressing their opinions. And again, one person, one French person's opinion doesn't mean, oh, that's what it's all about. Like, you know, uh, but there's a variety of opinions. There's some people who are just generally pissed off. They're pissed off of the, you know, the, the treatment of the state towards the people. Other people are out there maybe calling for higher taxes on the rich. I mean, just it's it's a mixed movement. But generally, though, I mean, these videos are it's people are are coming out into the streets and they are fighting the cops. I mean, there's no other way to put it, right? These people are out there into the in the streets, just taking it on the cops. And they actually did enough efforts on their part. They actually fought hard enough to get Macron to turn over the um, the gas tax. So, I mean, as far as protesting goes, that's a win, right? If you protest in the streets and you're people, and not, this isn't just like people are saying, oh, there's just Antifa or whatever, things like that. No, this is regular people, all kinds of different people expressing their frustration and they actually got them to overturn the tax, right? So that's kind of where we've been recently, but it hasn't slowed down. In fact, now there's, there's going to be what they're calling Act 4 w taking place tomorrow, Saturday. And now France is sending out a fleet of armored vehicles and military men down to 
take on the protesters. Expected to get really chaotic and violent. I saw Lukowski posting on um, uh, Facebook earlier that he uh, was being told by people in France to get out of the city. You know that he, they're advising him to get out of the city, and lots of people are leaving because they're just expecting like literal fights and battles in the, between the cops and the army. And you can see kind of right here. This is known as a VBRG, which is a vehicle that's going to be deployed in parts of Paris. Uh, most likely to suffer violence or vandal vandalism. Designed in the 60s, the 12-ton, 19-foot-long vehicles don 7mm thick armor and are capable of firing tear gas grenades. They also are equipped with a machine gun and a grenade launcher. And so we'll see how this goes. And we see one protester here says, or one uh, person on Twitter says, Yellow Vest Movement is the most serious wave of protest in France since 1968. Will it evolve into a Paris Spring? And of course, France does have a... Um, does have a history of protests going back 200 years and and you know people actually standing up for themselves so this might be it the people of france fighting back and resisting not only taxes and things like this facing off with the cops and again some people just taking over taking advantage of the situation for their own chaos and their own violence but you also have to note that emmanuel macron is a rothschild former rothschild employee and connected to that to to that dynasty you could say and for some people that's enough you know they they say that's it this is guy's a globalist he definitely seems to be a globalist and now they're and what i mean by that is this dude wants there to be an international order that is controlling the economy and centralizing all of our lives and, and dictating our lives as free people so what we're witnessing seems to be genuine in the sense that it's people standing up now of course anything like that you're gonna have people stand up and say oh this is our revolution this is our revolution try to steer it try to direct it right and that's just par for the course and this is why it's important because those who even us us agorists and people counter counter economists who say we want to opt out of society and, and vacate the state and kind of form our own communities uh, that's that's my typical path but I also understand that if I completely disappear and drop out and let these other folks control the direction of whatever wherever our world's going then i might end up in a situation that does not favor the type of world or freedom that i want you know and that i'm after so it's important to have a voice in some way maybe not through uh, the ballot box but if it comes down to this where hundreds of thousands of people are are protesting and and marching through the streets and actually getting the the government to respond and, and you know this is a this is a ideological battle for whatever's to come next in france and it's important to have some role in that. So I'm saying solidarity to all those who are out there fighting for freedom, fighting for, you know, against the state, fighting to, to keep the, their own wealth and their own labor and their own time and their own energy and to keep authoritarians from telling them how to le lead their lives. I hope that the people of France will push all the way for a true evolution, true revolution that doesn't involve just, you know, uh, reformism and um, just gradualistic tactics and 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 making deals with the state and i hope nobody gets hurt as well but i hope that they're able to push this movement of theirs as far as they can to really bust open and and claim something more free than what what many of us have and maybe through that be an example to other people who are out there struggling in their own ways because if this happens in france i would guess it's going to take place in other other parts of the world as well or that it could spread. We'll see. Now, the trick, of course, is to make sure that this kind of movement with all these different influences stays genuine. And I did do some research and I couldn't find anything conclusive. I will keep looking and keep my eye on it just to be safe because I was looking to see if there's any data on this being a color revolution. For those who are unaware of the term color revolution, you can search our YouTube channel. I believe we have some content on that. Uh, but generally, it's the idea, you know, of, say when a government goes into, a foreign government comes into a country like the United States has done plenty of times and they use um, non-governmental organizations or nonprofits to funnel money and create activist movements to create division and chaos and create a civil war in order to put in one of their own puppets. So I didn't see any clear evidence of that going on, any kind of like Western groups, you know, funding this or Soros or the Koch brothers or anything like that yet. Um, this does seem to be genuine. Like I said, it's a wide, varied m movement with different opinions, but it does seem to be genuine. Will that remain? Uh, we'll we'll have to wait to see, but I'll keep you guys updated if I find anything about that, and please share any details you have on that. For now, thank you guys for listening, and remember, you are powerful, you are beautiful, you are free. Peace.